Welcome to the next episode, where we're gonna be exploring a little bit off of the beaten path. You know, we love these kind of adventures. And in this episode, we are on a hunt. So let's get hunting. It's an early morning wake up for us as we pursue the hunt. The sun keeps going up earlier and earlier. The sunrise this morning is around 5 a.m. So we're heading out now, it's about 4.30. We'll see how this goes. At this point, you're probably asking yourself two questions. One is, where are they? And the second being, what are they hunting? Well, the answer to your first, welcome to the Palouse. So the Palouse is in Eastern Washington and it is French for the grassland. This is actually some of the most fertile soil for wheat anywhere in the country. The soil is actually made fertile by glaciers. Uh, silt that has run off from the glaciers has made this a really fertile land. It is incredibly beautiful. And to answer your second question, we are hunting beautiful barns, buildings, and anything else that is photogenic in this area. And it's been a fun hunt. I will admit this is probably one of the more challenging areas to photograph though. Um, it is a really vast landscape. There's a lot of different roads to explore, side farm roads. So it's hard to know where to go, when to go, and timing the light has been a bit of a challenge but it's been fun just exploring the area. We've had a really good time. So let's go check out some more of it and I'll be showing you some of the photos of some of the stuff that we've been able to capture on our hunt. This region is truly a photographer's playground. There is really almost endless options for photography, whether it's the rolling hills, the old barns, the, the old little farming towns, the rusted out equipment. The challenge is, is that it is very vast. It's a very spread out um, area. And if you are a photographer and you're wanting to come to this region, my recommendation is two things. One is do your research beforehand. No the spots that you wanna to get to, the shots you wanna to try to get, what time of day should you be there. Um, second is consider doing a photography workshop. I really feel like this is an area where you have a, if you had a local photographer and a guide to take you around, it would be a great way to, uh, to see the area. In addition to the beautiful rolling hills of the Palouse, we've also really enjoyed just wandering through some of the small towns. This is Oaksdale and that is the J.C. Barron flour mill that was built in 1890. Pretty cool stuff.
If you are in the area, a great little detour is the Palouse Falls. Although it is a little out of the way, it is a spectacular waterfall. Whether you're coming here specifically for photography or just driving through the area, it's a highly recommended stop and a detour. Yeah, it's a little bit off the beaten path, but it is beautiful. And this time of the year in kind of late May, early June, it is stunningly colorful and the greens and the browns and the yellows, it is a beautiful spot. Well, our time at the Palouse is coming to an end. What a beautiful location. You know, I just remain amazed at the beauty of God's creation. And not just the beauty, but just when you're in a land like this and you see the, the wheat fields, just the abundance and the nourishment that the land can provide. It's a beautiful sight. We also just love finding little pockets of beauty like this, especially when they're off the beaten path. I would encourage you to get out there and look for those little pockets in your world and in your day today. Well, we're about to head north Stay tuned for our next episode as we head up into Canada. And our next uh, leg of our journey is up into uh, to Banff. So we love that you're watching these videos. We hope that you're enjoying them. If you do want to continue to follow us uh, on our adventures, hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit that like button. Well, that's it for now. We'll see you on the road next time. And may God bless you. Jimmy, good girl, stay. Look at Daddy.